In this video, I will show you how to host your own ChatGPT UI with your own key, multiple users save chats. Before we begin, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to get daily tech videos. If you'd like to host your own version of ChatGPT then there is this free and open source project on GitHub that lets you host your personal ChatGPT web app that allows multiple users to log in and get AI generated answers to any questions. You can host it on your own server for your team to use. It can use your own OpenAI API keys. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process to install and set up this on a VPS. So, the very first thing you need to do is buy a VPS on AWS or DigitalOcean. I am using DigitalOcean, so I'll just use that instead. Log in into DigitalOcean if you are using it, and then create a small droplet. Select the location closest to you. Choose this small $6 month droplet for this. Now enter the root password for this droplet to log in via SSH. Finally, go ahead and create this droplet. Now, it is time to log in. Open terminal. Type SSH and then copy paste the IP address of your VPS. Login as root. Enter the password when it asks for it and hit enter. It will log you in, and then you need to update it first. Run apt update and apt upgrade commands on your VPS. It will take some time, so let it do it on its own. Now, when the update has finished, make sure Git is installed. We will now begin with the Docker installation. Install Docker using the snap command. Type snap install Docker, and then wait for the installation. After Docker has been installed, simply clone the GitHub repository of ChatGPT UI. Copy the GitHub link and run the git clone command to download the source code. Now, change the directory. Here we have to change a few settings in the docker compose.yml file. Open it via nano like this. The first thing to do here is set the app domain environment variable. Set it to your server's IP and 9000 port number. Next, you need to set up the default admin account. For that, you just change the user, email, and password for the Django variables here. By default, it uses SQLite database. But if you want to use another database, then you can change that from here. Set the database connection string in the specified format. Now, all the changes have been made. Press Ctrl plus O to save them in the file, and then press Ctrl plus X to exit. It is now time to start the container. For that, just run this docker compose up command. It will take some time to install the dependencies. So, just be patient. When you see the done status, then it means the installation is successful and you are now ready to use it. To access the admin panel, type the IP address of your VPS followed by a colon, 9000 slash admin in the browser. Before starting to use the chat, we have to set our OpenAI API key. So, in the admin panel, go to the settings model and then set your OpenAI API key. Log into your OpenAI account, and then create a new key that you want to use and copy it. In the admin panel, on settings, click at settings and create this variable called OpenAI API key. Set its value to the key that you have copied. Now, it is finally time to use the chat. Type the IP address of your server in the address bar and hit enter. The login page will appear. Sign in using your credentials, and then you will have your ChatGPT web app that looks exactly the same as the official ChatGPT. Start interacting with the chat. Ask any question, and it will generate a response for you. You can ask coding-related questions. 
You can also ask questions about education. Furthermore, you can ask it to write something, such as a paragraph on a specific topic. It works perfectly, and it doesn't even matter if you mistype something. It has a dark theme as well. You can turn that on if you don't like the bright interfaces. You now have your own ChatGPT hosted on your own server. If you want to use it with your team then, in the admin panel, you can add other users. You will have to create their credentials and then share with them so they can log in. Not only that, but you can also see the saved chats in the admin panel itself. It will show you the prompts other users have used and more such details. You can also remove users using the same admin panel. This is how you can now have your own ChatGPT app hosted on your own server and using your own key. Feel free to explore other amazing tech videos on our channel. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions on them.